Welcome YouTubers and today I'm going to do another Cisco video back into the Cisco series and today I'll be doing basic troubleshooting. I've been doing a lot of Windows videos recently so feel free to check those out if you uh, want to learn a few little tips here and there. But we'll get stuck in to the first question. 187 got a network technician is having trouble connecting two routers across serial ports. One router is a Cisco router whereas the other router is from a different manufacturer. You have loaded HDLC on both routers, what should you do? So we've got the subnet masks, a certain number, we've got the frame size, PPP as a serial link, and buffer size. The best way to answer this one is Cisco traditionally use HDLC as a proprietary standard between Cisco routers themselves. If there's other Cisco routers involved, you will need to use PPP as a serial link protocol, and that's the answer for 187. 188, you would like to verify the status of one of your interfaces. What command would you use? We've got interfaces, IP route, router, F0-0 status. And quite simply, this is just simply knowing the command. The answer is show interfaces. 189, you are having trouble communicating with networks that are connected to your fast ethernet 00 port. Use the command shown below to, the view, to view the status of the links. What can you do to solve the problem? Configure encapsulation protocol, assign an IP address, configure it to DHCP, enable the interface. So if we have a look here, it's a little bit blurry, unfortunately. <laughs> Sorry about that, guys. Uh, so, a fast ethernet port, so we've got to look at fast ethernet 0. Uh, well, it's got an IP address, that's all good and well, doesn't look very fancy anyway. Okay, and manual method and administratively down. So there's a few ways in which a certain interface can be down. Administratively down generally means it's being configured to be down, hence um, being administratively down. So in order to, I guess, uh, resolve the problem, we would have to enable the interface, which would take it from administratively down to up and running. 190, which of the following commands is used to display a table, output shown below, indicating the IP address, IP assigned to each interface and the status of the interface. So we've got show IP interfaces, show IP table, show IP interface brief, show IP table, table <laughs> show IP table brief. And the answer to this one is another rote learning question one almost. Uh, so the answer is show IP interface brief. See for that one. 191, which of the following commands display information on the iOS version? And believe it or not, there's three possible commands. We've got show version, show iOS, show hardware, show flash, show running config. The three is again another rote learning question. These will simply be the answers. So we've got show version, show flash, and show running config will be the answers. 192, we've got a very interesting one here, and excuse if my uh, mug's covering a little bit of the information, it's not too relevant, but you are troubleshooting communication issues between router 1 and router 2. The physical cabling is connected as shown in the figure below, as well as the IP address range. You use the show command displayed in the figure to identify the problem. Why are the routers not communicating? Is it the IP range? Serial interface using half duplex. Serial port is the wrong cable connected. The serial interface is using the wrong subnet mask. So having a look at the commands down here, we've got a show controllers uh, command for serial 010, which will be at the router here. And the information isn't too clear cut, but and generally as a normal rule, uh, router one will have the DCE end, and as you can see here, it's configured to DTE. So the answer is C. Moving on to 193, you need to find out if the serial port on your router is acting as the DC device in the point-to-point -point link with another router. What command do you need to use? Well, we saw this just before. If you were having a bit of a look, it would be D. Show controllers serial 00. So if you have a look, you might not be able to see it, but I'll call, try and get it to show up. Uh, show controllers serial and whatever the port number is, and you get the answer which is D for that one. Moving along to 194, you are troubleshooting communications, communication across a serial port and use the show interfaces command to get the output displayed below. What is the problem? Serial 020 is down, line protocol is down. 
We've got uh, clock rate, encapsulation protocol, checked physical connection, and you're using PPP. Uh, being that that is down, line protocol is down, means there's something wrong physically. Um, generally, there can also be other po points, as I mentioned before, that can be administratively down, which means it's being configured to be down. In this case, since these are both down, we have to sort of check the cabling, uh, network cables between each other, and also obviously the power. So we've got to check the physical connection, which is the answer for that one. So a network administrator in your office has configured the router with the commands shown below. What is the order of the passwords that would need to be supplied if she connects to the console ports and make changes? So looking at the configuration, enable config term, that's good, host name R1, enable password Cisco, enable secret password, line VTY04, password telnet pass. So with this one, the password here takes precedence over the enable password and there's no further configuration for the actual uh, console password so just password will be the order of which she needs so the answer is a 196 you should use the show interfaces command and get the status below on your serial port which layer of the osi model has a problem serial 020 is up line protocol is down and again, this relates to a physical problem on the network, which is layer 2. 197, Jeff configures the router with the commands shown below. What is the order of the passwords that he would need to use when connecting to the console port at the router to make the changes? And if we have a look at the configuration here, enable config term. What have we got? Enable password, Cisco. So that will be the password for that one. Enable secret password, line con, password, con pass. And there is no login uh, command here, which would actually make the authentication applicable for the Cisco OS router itself. Um, so you would think, obviously, whatever password was set, maybe Compass, would be the one you would type in first. But simply because login has not been able to authenticate that password correctly, it'll just be a password, so similar to the other one. 198 using the output below from the show interfaces command. What is most likely the problem? Serial 020 is up. Line, line a protocol is down. So you've got no physical link. A protocol or clock rate is not being set. You need to configure the device, the router as the DCE device. You need to configure the router as the DTE device. So in this case, a line protocol is down. Generally, we'll suggest that there's a problem between the two routers. Um, so it'll be a protocol clock rate that's not being set. It's got to be set on one end, but then it's also got to be set on the other end for the router so that the two routers can talk to each other. So a protocol clock rate is not being set is the answer. 199, Tom configures the router with the command shown below. What is the order of the passwords that he would need to enter when connecting to the console port of the router to make the changes? Again, it's pretty similar to the other ones here. We've got enable config term. Enable password, Cisco, enable secret password, line con zero, password con pass, login. That is the key from before that uh, those other people didn't have. Um, so look for our answers here. And the answer will be D because he's logged in, which will authenticate that password there. So when connects via a console port there, you'll have to type in the con pass password first and then password to make changes to the router, which is the answer there. And that's all for this video, guys. Thanks very much for watching. Uh, feel free to check out my other Cisco to talk, uh, Cisco videos. I've got on my YouTube channel as well. I've got my website here, onlinecomputercoaching.com. Plenty of other tutorials there, and I've also got my uh, social media links in the description below. So if you could have a look at those and like, follow as well, it would be great. And uh, yeah, feel free to subscribe for more of these videos, guys. We'd be much appreciated. I'll catch you guys all soon.